Hi guys, Durant here, Alan Swain, and I have some news for you. I have good news, good news, good news, and bad news. The good news is that the ALU is finished. Well, mostly. Still gonna do some testing, I'll get to that later. Um, the good news is that I'm also making a compiler slash assembler for the red game. So you program in a programming language that is going to be based off basic. Um, you'll be able to do A plus B as like a... You'll be able to write it, actually, and stuff. Um, the good news, this is some of the best news, actually, is that I've decided, well, after stumbling across it, let me tell you a little story then, um, I didn't remember what that third thing was, honestly, that I was going to do when I hit a million views, so I decided to Google what to do if you hit a million YouTube views. And instead, of course, came how to get a mi million YouTube views. And it's stated as one of the things... Um, what was it again? Interaction with the audience or something. Get them involved in what's happening with your channel. It's kind of hard with computers, so I thought, why not let them test it? So, you guys, you redstoners, you programmers, you average people, well, no offense. I uh, seriously, no offense. Like, if you. Never mind, I, I didn't say that, okay? You're all special. Not in a bad way either. Ne never mind. Um, you get to test the LU for all the little functions and stuff. See if it's all working, and you get to see a sneak peek of parts of the red game. It's, ob it's optional, obviously. But if you find a glitch, you might be in the credits of the testers. I'll make a little text document and I'll include that in the manual and on the red game with signs and stuff. That this guy helped find that the third adder wasn't working. Now to test, you kind of need a bit of knowledge on the computer. You can't say the adder's not working because I don't understand binary, for example. Now. Um, the bad news is, a little bit of bad news just, I cannot get the shift register working. So, don't go and say the shift register isn't working, because I know that. Well, the shift controller thingy. This lever over here, disable shift, keep that down by the way, does nothing if you lift it. But keep it down, in case it does cause errors. I made it so compact that it can't find it. Look, this is the shift controller system right here. This and this, all the way to here. This right here is like the wall of the shift device. I don't know why it's not working. And if I can fix it, I have to drag all of this, like, a lot back there. So. You get to test that. I'll show you how it works a little bit as well. Oh, I also need your help for something else, guys. If any of you are Java programmers and you know how to work with documents, because I'm my compiler, I'm not too good with documents at all. Day twenty thousand one hundred and eight. Trust me, that it's not just <laughs> red red game development. I develop everything in here. All of it's back there. This is the edge of the development area. Because the red game 2 tends to be a little big. So I made the red game 3 a lot of space. Gave the red game 3 a lot of space. Anyways, if you're a Java programmer and you know how to save documents, save a string array to a document, a two dimensional string array, and to separate the x axis with spaces and the y-axis with returns so it's basically like a little table kind of thing except it's not tab it's space that's for the saving and for the loading I'll need to get a document into from a document into a text string thing in Java and then I also need because I've tried all of this and I can't seem to find it working. I'll probably get the save and load to string parts working myself, maybe. But the thing that's really going to annoy me is getting the string of the document, and every time you see an enter, or a return, or a new line, 
goes into a different part of an array. So you have this array of string 1, string 2, string 3, well this is an array of say 3 size and you have a document which says the first line blah blah blah, the second line blah blah blah, the other one loo loo loo. Then it goes string 1 equals blah blah blah, string well of array section 1, 2 and 3 equals the lines of the other document. Kind of like that. It's hard to explain. It separates every line as a different piece of RAM. I need that because then I get much easier to work with to get the compiling part to them. You will also be credited if it works, that is, of course. I could credit someone for giving me a broken piece of code that I ended up not using. You know, just. Okay, so, um, what was I going to do next? I was going to demonstrate the LU. So first, let's clean the register of whatever else I've been doing. Oh, and we got the comparator working. I think I said that. That was one of the good news things. A equals B. Because they're both zero now. I'm going to put one in the first register. Fly. Now A should be bigger. It is. And I'll put two in the register. And register B. B should now be bigger. Okay, so we have one and three as A and B. I'm not going to demonstrate the whole comparator thing. You should know what it does. It checks which number is bigger. If both numbers are equal, this thing turns on. It's that simple. So I'll show you some basic functions of the LU now. I'm hoping this all works. Let's begin with the basics. Um, do not disable A. Do not not anything. Um, not enable logic. Do not not the output. So our answer is currently 4. It's 1, 2, 4, by the way. Let's do A minus B. Wait, that's what we disable. No, not disable. I'll just. It'd be not A and not output. Now we're doing the other way around now. We're doing B minus A, which equals 1. 3 minus 1, the 2 minus 1 equals negative 1. It will n not B. Inverting output equals 2. 3 minus 1 equals 2. So that's subtraction. Um, let's show you XOR. An interesting one. To do XOR, you need to disable carry and make sure that all this is on. There we are, XOR. 1 XOR 1 1 is 0 1. Because that's the only bit that's different. Um, let's show you something else. Logic. Current logic is OR. Logic ignores the adder and puts it to OR. Now to AND, for example, go NOT A, NOT B, and NOT OUTPUT. And that would be one zero 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 because that's the only bit that both of them have. If you guys don't understand what all this is, chances are you're not supposed to be using this computer. Um, let's show you a few more things this thing can do. B plus one, so we disable A. Disable logic. We now have B in the line. Plus one. It can be quite creative on how on all the combinations of these levers to do as many functions as you want. 
it's like 256 different combinations although they won't all do anything useful you can also just output one by doing disable A, disable B and then plus one so it can generate the number one and yeah disable carries for XOR disable shift does nothing just keep that up I keep it down actually keep it down Disable B, disables input B. Yeah, most of it's self explanatory. This saves whatever's on here in reverse. So 1 equals 0 and 0 equals 1. It's to make it one tick faster. And pull that to like, you just flick it quick. Like that. They're both of them equal 1, 1, and. A equals B. There's a slight glitch that sometimes these two lines are on as well. But basically, if this line is on, these two lines will be ignored. It's not really a glitch, it's because of how it works. Let it be dry. So that's it. There will be a world well, edit like link thing for the dots dynamic thing for this. Um, so you need to test see if everything's working except for the shift if you want to or you can look at it around look around at it and tell me every single combination useful combination that you can find or useful functions a minus b plus one is for example if you can find out how to do that i know it's possible i'm just too lazy to try and figure it out right now and stuff and that will be included in the compiler and if you're a java genius you can help me with that as well. You will be credited if you did anything useful in aid of constructing the Red Game 3. So thanks for watching, and I hope you do well, and I hope I made this LU work well and such, and uh, 